So banks that consistently optimize customer experience reportedly grow 3.2 times faster than their competitors, and that's according to Zendesk Blog. That's an online customer information platform. Today, customer experience has never been more important for any industry thanks to the new digital age of technology. So what is customer experience in banking and how does it translate into the bottom line? Michelle Nwoga is the Group Chief Experience Officer at UBA Group, and she's live here with me in the studio for the show. Thanks for coming in this evening. Thank you, Boss. It's, good, it's good to have you. you. Looks like it's been so a much. very busy day for you and your team. Thank Let's you. start with that. I just heard they got on board about 700. UBA is on board in 700. Got a GMAP? GMAPs, yes. Yes. Right. So tell me about this huge event. <laughs> I, I wasn't invited, so I'm going to take that up with you after. <laughs> Don't worry. We're going to invite you to the next one that we have. We're holding. Um, so our GMAP program um, was held today. We had our graduates, 700 graduates today. Um, it's a graduate management accelerated program. Um, so we hire graduates fresh out of university and we train them for six months. Um, they go through a very rigorous process. Our HR director, Mutukpe Akindele, is responsible for the program. And we train them for six months, after which they go into um, some placement roles across the organization and then they graduated today. So the 700 staff actually came from across Africa. I was um, about to was ask amazing. if they're all Nigerian. No, 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 no. So, you know, we, we've got presence in 20 African countries, obviously. Um, so um, they came from across Africa, which was really a very exciting time. It's actually our maiden edition as well. So this is the first time that we've held the program like this. So we hosted them at Echo Hotel. They're probably still there, actually, having cocktails and winding down <laughs> oh, after oh, a great. long day. So that's 700 yes. across your, your footprints across Africa, yes, uh, yes. Uh, as it were. That's, that's huge. It is. It is really, really huge. And we're really excited about it because... You know, one thing that UBA also promotes is our African presence, obviously, mm. and um, with the push also for um, the youth as well. So it's a great opportunity for us to actually have the younger generation mm. come into um, United Bank for Africa. Mm. And we're really excited about the promises, you know, that they mm. hold for, you know, whatever roles that they're going to take on in the bank. So I'm looking can, at the images yeah. of this very young uh, men and women uh, of, from Nigeria and, and across the... Oh, okay, that's the chief himself. This is a whole lot. 700, and it's very, very crunching time yeah. to yeah. create 700 uh, employment, as it were, mm -hmm. in, 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 in the bank. That mm -hmm. just looks really... Good for, for graduates. Absolutely. And I, and I think I mean, I think just shows you how UB is also progressing and growing. So like you said, it's crunch time, but we're still recruiting because we believe in Africa and we believe that the youth are the ones that will take us to the next level. So we're really excited to have them. So some of these young men and women mm -hmm. that you put together today, 700 of them will be coming under your leadership in terms of customer experience which becomes what is it that makes it today is the world of digital technology by the space so mm -hmm. tell me about customer experience in the banking sector okay so i mean it's it's a really exciting time for us in the banking sector mm -hmm. customer experience has been around for a number of years but i think over the last couple of years it's become a greater focus for financial services institutions. And I think that's also because there's a lot of competition. So we have a lot of the challenger banks mm -hmm. that are coming in and disrupting us and disrupting our customers. So we have an increased focus in, you know, how we, looking at how we can optimize our products, you know, upgrade and optimize our infrastructure to support the volumes. And I will say also, you know, UBA has made customer experience a strategic focus for a couple of years. We launched our CFIRST philosophy um, in 2016, which is a philosophy that puts the customer first. In everything that we do, we make sure that we put them ahead of all our decision-making processes. And we've been running that for a couple of years. And with that has come amazing products. Like I said, we've um, recently been optimizing our infrastructure because we've seen a, a huge influx of customers over the last couple of years. So we've quadrupled our customer base um, significantly. Um, so, you know, we're starting to look at things like how we can be more proactive, you know, because customer service, I think in the past is what it was, customer service. So now it's more experience, <laughs> it's more right? Experience. It's more well, when experience. When you talk about this experience yes. and trying to spread it across mm -hmm. several countries in Africa and around right. the world. So I'm beginning to find out how, how much work that devolves wow. on you as an individual, yeah. a different culture, different nuances yeah. Yeah. from here yeah. to East yeah. Africa, Southern yeah. Africa, uh, you know, all the way to, 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 to the Middle East and, yeah. and, and France and London and, in the United States, yeah. you've got a whole lot. Yes, yes, yes. And I mean, again, we love, um, you know, being able to 
deliver solutions across Africa. You know, mm. our vision is to be the most dominant financial services institution in Africa. I mean, we're expanding internationally as well. I mean, and of course, very recently, we know from our um, results that came out, we're really trying to expand our footprint um, across Africa. Um, so it is a bit of a challenge, only to the degree that you've got to take into consideration the local nuances, right? Mm -hmm. um, but we have a great team. I have customer experience heads across all the countries in Africa and even in UB International as well. Mm -hmm. And, you know, we've evolved a strategy centrally that we deploy across the group. So all the customer experience heads take that and then they localize it and domesticate it across the various countries. We do a lot of listening. So we do, we um, have voice of customer programs where we're constantly getting feedback from our customers. So specifically to those various countries, we're able to evolve solutions that actually meet the customer's needs locally. Yeah. Where does all does this generate it from? Where, where does it domicile? That, that must be in Marina. Yeah. <laughs> yes, that's the that, Lion Building. Yeah. That's the heart. That's <laughs> the Lion Building. Yeah. Okay. Yes, it is. Interesting. But again, you need to measure return on investments because whatever you do as experience mm -hmm. has to uh, support the bottom line. Correct. Yeah. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. right. So, yes, yes, so yes. It's important. I, it is, it is. And I mean, we do that as well. So, I mean, you know, again, it depends on the various stages that an organization is in. I think UBA has evolved. You know, when we started off, we were really green. So we had a lot of hygiene work to do, which is like cleaning up and tidying up all our, our little processes where we had the gaps and things like that. So now we're at that stage where we're saying, okay, you know what, whatever we do in customer experience must actually you know, um, evolve to, to the bottom line. Um, so all, all the projects that we're working on, whether it's, you know, POS optimization, you know, the conversation is what are we doing when we decide that we want to deploy POS terminals, where is that going to go? What is the impact on the bottom line? How are we going to make sure that customers that are utilizing that service, for example, get the experience that they want so we get more mobile app, also, we mm. optimize our mobile app platforms to ensure that we get more customers through the funnel. You know what I mean? Mm. Um, so those sort of things are, uh, you know, things that we're doing across all our different digital channels. Self-service as well is something that we're really focusing on, um, trying to empower and enable our customers across our various platforms. So we get more through. So the more customers you get through, the more they do with you, the more money you make. You know what I mean? So. It's a customer week, isn't it? Yes, it's our customer service week. Yes. Yes. Okay. So, so, so what's, on the, what's on the table? So customer service week, you know, UBA, we love celebrating our customers. We do that actually every Wednesday, by the way, Boston. If you're ever in the vicinity of a UBA branch on Wednesday, between 12 and 3 p.m., we actually celebrate our customers anyway. So anybody mm. who's in the banking hall on those at that those times, we give them a round of applause, we serve refreshments, and just again thank our customers for banking. But, but this week us. is going to be different. This so is that's yeah. So this is like so a big I'm asking about this week in <laughs> so particular this, now that so you're in town. <laughs> yes, 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 yes. So this week is really exciting. We've got a lot of activities planned for our customers and also for staff because customer service week is also about celebrating staff, the people who actually serve our customers. Um, so for our customers, we've got quite a few competitions that are going on. We've got to transact and win where they can transact and buy airtime and they win some money. And we've got, like I was saying to you earlier, um, a rewards an awards um, event for our staff later on this evening. Um, we also have... Um, Okay, Please go ahead. sorry. So we also have, um, you know, every week. So this, we have the dress code. So staff love this because, you know, usually bankers are always very smart, right? So we have a dress code that staff um, follow each week. Mm -hmm. Today we have so, color blocking, mm -hmm. hence the... Here we go. Yeah. Okay, <laughs> but, here we go. But loads of different activities planned anyway. But, but did you know yeah. that I modeled for a UBA TV commercial oh, wow. that was on your PO, on your um, ATM terminals some years ago. No. You never knew. We're going to have to fish that out. Little, I got a little <laughs> secret for you. And I'm sure a lot of guys yeah. will be surprised oh, that wow. I, was a, I was a model for that TV oh, wow. commercial uh, for, mm -hmm. for UBA. So I'm one of your customer number one. Oh, wow. So get ready for a treat for me on Friday. <laughs> Wonderful. Yes, I got a little <laughs> pamphlet that has me on the, on the oh, cover. Oh, we're going to have to fish that, that one so, out. <laughs> no, there's some of my mementos in my library. Okay. Uh, even my friend is not aware of that. Yet. We're going to fish that one of these we days. We will. But it's nice having you here. It's I'm been a very sure. busy day for all of you, including on himself. So yeah. thank you. I uh, wish you guys all the best. Thank you. It's so nice much. having you here and uh, I'm sure you have a whole lot more to do yeah. to the rest of the week. Thank you. May we have a handshake? Thank you so much. Love thank to you. It's good to have you, Michelle. Thank Walker. you so much for thank having me. Thank you very me. much. She's the Group Chief Experience Officer at the UBA Group.